Ever felt your heart pounding before a big presentation or your mind racing during the wee hours of the night? These sensations are a part of our body's natural response to what it perceives as threats or challenges, also known as stress and anxiety. Stress and anxiety are universal experiences that everyone goes through from time to time. Perhaps you felt it during a job interview or while stuck in a traffic jam when you're running late. It's the body's way of gearing up to confront a challenging situation, making your senses more acute, your heartbeat faster, your breath quicker. But what happens when this stress and anxiety persist beyond the immediate threat or challenge? When they linger and become a constant companion, we move into the realm of chronic stress and anxiety. Unlike the occasional stress, which can actually be beneficial and motivating, chronic stress and anxiety can have a significant impact on both our physical and mental health. Physically, it can lead to headaches, problems with sleep, and even heart disease. Mentally, it can cause feelings of overwhelm, irritability, and a sense of constant worry. In the long term, chronic stress and anxiety can affect our performance at work, our relationships, and our overall quality of life. This is where the importance of managing stress and anxiety comes into play. It's not about eliminating all stress, which, let's face it, is virtually impossible. Instead, it's about learning how to manage it effectively so that it doesn't take over our lives. And that's what we'll be exploring in this video series. We'll delve into strategies to understand and manage stress and anxiety better, such as practicing mindfulness, establishing healthy boundaries, and seeking support when needed. Remember, while stress is a common part of life, chronic stress and anxiety need to be managed effectively. It's not just about surviving but thriving, even in the face of life's challenges. So stay tuned as we navigate this journey together towards a healthier, more balanced life. Have you ever heard of mindfulness and wondered what it is all about? Well, it's not as complex as it may seem. It's about being fully present, fully engaged in whatever you're doing at the moment. It's about not being overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's going on around us. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in our arsenal for managing stress and anxiety. It allows us to cultivate awareness of the present moment and observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. It's like taking a step back and watching a movie of your own life, where you are the observer, not the actor. Different mindfulness practices can help us achieve this state of mind. One of the most common practices is mindfulness meditation. This involves sitting quietly, focusing on your breath, and bringing your mind's attention to the present without drifting into concerns about the past or future. Another practice is deep breathing exercises. When we are stressed, our breathing becomes shallow and rapid, but by consciously controlling our breath, taking deep, slow breaths, we can signal our body to relax. Yoga is another way to practice mindfulness. The combination of physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation can reduce stress and promote a sense of calm and relaxation. But remember, mindfulness is not just about these specific practices. It's about being aware of the present moment in all aspects of your life. It's about truly listening when someone is speaking to you, savoring your food when you eat, or fully immersing yourself in the beauty of a sunset. Imagine if you could harness this power of presence, not just in meditation or yoga, but in every moment of your life. The benefits can be profound. Studies have shown that mindfulness can reduce stress, improve focus, boost mood, and even improve physical health. So how about giving it a try? Start with just five minutes a day of mindfulness meditation or deep breathing. Notice the sensations around you, the feel of your breath entering and leaving your body. If your mind wanders, gently guide it back to the present moment. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine can be a powerful tool in reducing stress and promoting a sense of calm. And remember, it's not about getting it right or attaining any particular state. It's about being present and non-judgmental and that's something we can all do. Do you often find yourself overwhelmed by the demands of work, relationships, and social activities? This is a common sentiment, and it's often the result of blurred boundaries. Establishing healthy boundaries is a crucial aspect of managing stress and protecting your mental health. You see, boundaries are like invisible lines that define what we are comfortable with and how we would like to be treated by others. They are not walls to keep people out, but guidelines that help us maintain respect and understanding in our interactions. When our boundaries are regularly crossed, we can feel disrespected, violated, and overwhelmed. So how do we set these boundaries? It starts with understanding yourself and recognizing your own limits. This may require some introspection. Consider what makes you feel uncomfortable or stressed, and where you need more space. Once you have a clear understanding of your limits, 
The next step is to communicate these boundaries to others. It's okay to say no to excessive demands on your time or energy. Remember, saying no doesn't mean you are being rude or unkind. It simply means you are taking care of your own needs. Delegating tasks is another effective strategy for setting boundaries, especially in the workplace. If you're swamped with work and feeling stressed, delegate some tasks to your colleagues or team members. This not only eases your workload but also empowers others and promotes a collaborative work environment. Lastly, create a healthy work-life balance. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of work, but it's essential to make time for relaxation and self-care. Whether it's reading a book, going for a walk, or spending time with loved ones, these moments of respite can go a long way in reducing stress and promoting mental well-being. Remember, setting healthy boundaries is not selfish. It's essential for your mental health and well-being. By recognizing your limits and prioritizing self-care, you can manage stress more effectively and lead a more balanced and fulfilling life. Do you ever feel isolated or overwhelmed by stress and anxiety? It's a feeling many of us know all too well. But remember, you don't have to face these challenges alone. Seeking support is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to your strength and resilience. When you're caught in the grips of stress and anxiety, it can be easy to feel like you're alone in your struggle. But in reality, everyone has their own battles to fight, and there's strength in numbers. Connecting with others, whether they're trusted friends or family members, can provide a sense of comfort and understanding. It's a reminder that you're not alone, that others have walked the same path and emerged stronger on the other side. But sometimes we need more than just a friendly ear. We need the guidance of a professional, someone trained to help us navigate the turbulent waters of stress and anxiety. Therapists and counselors offer a safe space for you to express your feelings and fears, and they can provide you with practical strategies to manage your stress levels. Support groups, too, can be an invaluable resource. Here, you'll find others who are experiencing the same challenges and who can offer not just empathy, but also practical advice and strategies that have worked for them. It's a community of individuals united by common experiences, and it's a place where you can find both comfort and empowerment. Remember, seeking out support isn't about admitting defeat. On the contrary, it's about recognizing that you have the strength and courage to take an active role in managing your stress and anxiety. It's about acknowledging that you're human, with all the complexities and vulnerabilities that come with it. So when the weight of stress and anxiety feels too heavy to bear, remember that you don't have to bear it alone. Reach out, connect, and find comfort in the shared human experience. Don't hesitate to reach out for support when you're feeling overwhelmed. You're not alone, and help is available. Managing stress and anxiety is a journey, not a destination. As we conclude this enlightening exploration, Let's take a moment to recap the essential points we've discussed. Stress and anxiety, though common, should not be a constant in our lives. Recognizing the signs and understanding the impact they have on our mental and physical health is the first step towards a healthier, happier you. We've delved into the art of mindfulness, a powerful tool that allows us to be more present and aware. By incorporating practices like meditation, deep breathing, or yoga into our daily routines, we create a space for calm and tranquility amidst the chaos of life. We've also highlighted the importance of setting healthy boundaries. Recognizing our limits and prioritizing self-care is fundamental. It's okay to say no, delegate tasks, and strive for a balanced lifestyle. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Let's not forget the power of seeking support. It's okay to ask for help. Whether it's a heart-to-heart -heart with a trusted friend, professional advice from a therapist, or finding solace in a support group, Reaching out can provide comfort, perspective, and validation. We are social creatures after all, and connection is a fundamental part of our well-being. These strategies are not quick fixes, but rather lifelong practices that can help us cultivate resilience. They can guide us in navigating life's challenges with grace and strength. By understanding stress and anxiety, practicing mindfulness, establishing healthy boundaries, and seeking support, we can manage stress and anxiety effectively enhancing our overall well-being and quality of life. Remember, it's not about eliminating stress and anxiety completely, but about learning how to manage them effectively. It's about developing resilience and strength to face life's challenges head-on and cultivating a sense of inner peace and tranquility amidst the chaos. Thank you for joining us today. Remember to subscribe for more insights and advice on enhancing your well-being. 
Together, let's continue this journey towards a healthier, happier, and more balanced life.